This time on What's New at DXE, new radios, antennas, tuners, keys, and a whole lot more. Welcome back to the DX Engineering Channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. We've been very busy adding new things to our inventory, so let's dive in with the new Yaesu FTX-1. Yaesu announced the FTX-17 back in 2001 which was followed by the H17 ND model a few years later. In 2018, they replaced the H17 ND with the 818 ND, which sold until 2022. Fast forward to August of 2024 at the Tokyo Ham Fair, when Yesu announced the FTX-1F. This generated a significant buzz in the ham radio community as the successor of the 81X line of radios, but it's more than just a QRP rig. The FTX-1 caters to both portable and base station operation and is available in both QRP as the F model and the 100W Optima version. The FTX-1F or field model is rated at up to 10 watts output when running off 13.8 volts or 6 watts with the included 6400 milliamp hour battery. The FTX-1 Optima includes an attached amplifier that boosts the power to 100 watts on HF and 6 meters and 50 watts on 2 and 440. It also includes an internal tuner. Both models include a 4.3 inch full color touchscreen display, an SDR receiver, dual band operation with simultaneous receive, APRS, wires X, USB C, internal sound card, and more. The field model includes the control head, battery, DC cable, and hand mic, while the Optima includes the control head power amplifier, DC cable, battery for portable operations, and a hand mic. Both versions have options for Bluetooth, antenna tuners, GPS, and more. New from Alenco is the DJX 100T handheld receiver. This rig receives from 30 to 470 megahertz, including the FM broadcast band. Not only will the X100T receive analog AM and FM modes, but it will also receive digital modes including D-Star, DMR, Fusion, NXDN, and others. This rig has a 999 channel memory capacity, is IP67 rated, uses USB-C, and has a color TFT LCD display. New to DX Engineering is a line of tuners from LAS. Manufactured in France, each tuner is handcrafted ensuring attention to detail and superior craftsmanship. Each tuner features a front panel that is made from anodized aluminum and includes backlit analog meters and large precision knobs. They all have a wide impedance tuning range with models ranging from 4 kilowatts to 10 kilowatts and two models made specifically for balance line and three for coax fed antennas. These are professional grade tuners built with superior quality components that can last a lifetime. HA8DU has a 4 kilowatt HF antenna tuner that includes a color touch screen, four antenna ports, CAT control, as well as remote control over the internet. The DU4000AL is an automatic tuner that once programmed will automatically switch to the correct antenna position and tuning values within one to one and a half seconds without transmitting. This tuner can also control an external eight port antenna switch as well as a stack match and will interface with most amateur transceivers via RS-232 or CIV. The DU4000ML is a 4 kilowatt HF manual tuner that covers 160 through 10 meters. It has a three position switch to select up to three different antennas and has a cross needle SWR and watt meter. This tuner also has a 26 turn roller inductor that can match antennas with an SWR up to 10 to 1. The DU1500T is also a manual tuner that covers 160 through 10 meters and can tune both balanced and unbalanced antennas. This tuner features a three position antenna switch, a cross needle SWR and watt meter, and has a power rating of up to 2000 watts. Carlson Communications is back with a new standard duty drive on mast mount. This mount is perfect for portable operation when the mast is needed for erecting an antenna. The pipe stand will hold masts that are up to 2.06 inches in diameter. This mount also includes four additional half-inch diameter holes 
which allow for mounting it on a concrete pad for a permanent installation. Also from Carlson is a heavy-duty adjustable wall bracket for Drone 25G and Amorite 25G tower. The distance from the house is adjustable from 8 to 36 inches for stationary towers and 8 to 22 inches for hinge towers. The bracket is constructed from 5052 aluminum channel and stainless steel hardware. The Moonraker MD3500 is a portable antenna that is manually tuned and can work from 80 through 6 meters. Simply sliding the telescoping base coil will allow for easy band changes. This antenna can handle up to 130 watts on sideband and has a maximum length of approximately 8.5 feet. This antenna does require an antenna tuner. Moonraker also has the MD7400, which is similar to the 3500, except that it covers from 40 meters to 70 centimeters. It can also handle up to 130 watts on sideband and has a maximum length of 5.8 feet. This antenna also requires a tuner. New for me, lad, is the ASA15 amplified antenna splitter. This splitter distributes one antenna to up to five receivers. Each output can provide either no gain or 12 dB of gain. Also, there's an additional 15 dB attenuator on the input that can be switched to prevent overload. The ASA15 is designed to work up to 70 MHz and uses SO239 connectors. The ELAT ASA16 is an antenna splitter. However, it does not offer amplification other than what is necessary to split the signal. This splitter distributes one antenna to up to six receivers. Like the ASA15, it also has a switchable 15 dB attenuator on its input and covers up to 70 MHz. The splitter can also be connected to a transmitter PTT line to mute all the receiver ports by more than 60 dB on the input. Unlike the 15, the ASA16 uses BNC female connectors. ELAD also has the ASA62 amplified antenna splitter that distributes the signal from six antennas to two different receivers simultaneously. The receivers can select individual antennas or share the same antenna. An antenna can be selected by either selecting the proper button on the front panel or it can be remotely controlled through downloadable software on the Windows platform. Note that this unit cannot mute the receive line. The UE1P is a smaller variant of the UE2P. This weather-resistant enclosure is exterior rated, includes stainless steel hardware, a pre-drilled aluminum plate, and weather-tight coaxial cable feed-through couplers. The enclosure measures 9.4 by 9.2 by 4.1 inches and includes a ground plane that measures 8 by 4 inches. We're right in the middle of 6 meter season and Inova Antennas has three new 6 meter Yaggies to get you on the band. The LFA3 is a 6 element loop fed array with a 22.4 foot boom. It has a peak gain of 12 dBi and a peak front to back of 30.2 dB. It's rated at over 5 kW, has a wind survival rating of 126 miles per hour, and weighs only 14.6 pounds. Also from Inove is the LFA Max 6 element 6 meter beam. The Max's boom is approximately 3 feet shorter than the LFA3 and has a 0.7 dB less of forward gain. It has a peak front to back of 32.2 dB and is rated at over 5 kW. The Max also has a wind survival rating of 139 miles per hour and weighs only 13.66 pounds. And for those who are looking for something larger on 6 meters, Inove has the LFA HD 7 element 6 meter beam. The HD's boom is 29.2 feet long, has a peak gain of 12.81 dBi, and a peak front to back of 45.95 dB. It's also rated at over 5 kW and has a wind survival rating of 96 miles per hour and weighs 33 pounds. Loop fed arrays offer low noise performance, which is perfect for weak signal work on the 6 meter band. Moonraker has two new HF vertical antennas, the GPA 80 HP and GPA FHP. Both cover 80 through 6 meters and are rated at 1 kW. The HP model is aluminum, while the FHP model is fiberglass. These antennas are approximately 19 and a half feet tall and do not require radials. 
Both antennas require a wide impedance range external tuner. Also available for Moonraker is the MRW HF100 portable HF antenna system. This antenna uses separate base coils for 40 through 6 meters and a 4.27 foot telescoping whip. This antenna is rated at 50 watts on sideband and 25 watts on CW and digital. Also for Moonraker is a portable heavy duty steel tripod. At 8 pounds, this tripod will hold mass from 1.25 to 2.5 inches in diameter. It features a heavy duty frame with adjustable leg lengths from 0 to 18 inches. The legs have thumb screws and a locking pin to prevent slipping and also have non-skid rubber feet. The tripod will collapse to an area of 7 by 7 inches square and 5 feet long, making it perfect for taking out on your next portable activation. HAAKF has a new magnetic paddle. These keys are handcrafted and silky smooth. They include an extra heavy base that will keep your key from scooting across your desk. This key features precision needle contact spacing adjustment thumb screws that can be locked down with a 2mm Allen head screw. It also features a solid brass hub and a heavy steel powder coated base. And finally, don't forget that Field Day is just around the corner. DXC has you covered with Field Day t-shirts, bumper stickers, posters, mugs, hats, patches, pens, banners, and stickers. And that wraps up another What's New at DXC. As always, check out our website to make sure that the products you're interested in are in stock. Thanks for watching today. I'm Michael, KI at R. We'll catch you on the next one.